everybody! Today, I'm making Songpyeon rice cake. Small cute rice cake filled with nuts, sesame seeds, and fruits. We Koreans make and eat on special day. Special festival day is called Chuseok. Chuseok is Korean Thanksgiving day. Celebration of a harvest. So we make this with newly harvested fresh rice. Actually, I posted this recipe nine years ago with non-HD. That was a kind of blurry. I always thought that I should make, I should you know, update this recipe, but always I miss the time. So this year, really, really, I decided to make this on time so that you guys can make this and celebrate Korean Chuseok. Song means thyme tree. When we steam this, we have to use thyme needles. So yesterday, I went to the Central Park. Funny thing is, nine years ago, I went to Central Park at the same tree. The same tree, it looks like he recognized me. <laughs> I went nine years after, I just picked that, can I borrow your pine needles, please? And then just, I took some. So I brought home. And first thing we have to do is, I'm going to wash this nicely. Very clean. When you steam this in rice cake, it's going to be all infused to pine needle kind of flavor. These pine needles are very important ingredients to make songpyeon. So I'll put it here. This is a rice flour. I got this from Korean grocery store. You can make your own rice flour. Follow my recipe on my website. But I just bought this. This one package, I got this from frozen section. This rice flour is specially made to make rice cake. And this rice is soaked in cold water. And hours later, we just drain this and we just meal. That's why this rice flour is still a little wet. So it has to be sold in the frozen section. So this is a sifter. When you guys make a rice cake very often, you should find this kind of sifter. So very convenient. But if you don't have, just use mesh strainer. And large bowl, over the large bowl, and put this in your sifter like this. So one, two, three. And just a little more, maybe a quarter cup more. Leftover rice flour, always keep in the freezer. So freezer, you can keep in like three months. Use a hand like this, so you will see. So this rice flour go through. And this way is a more easier way. This coarse rice flour, I'm going to discard. First, we're gonna make white songpyeon. So now, one and a half a cup, I'm going to measure. One. And half a cup. And then add salt. Quarter teaspoon salt. And quarter cup hot, hot boiling water. Just keep mixing until you can handle by hand. So now I will just wrap this so that it's not going to dry out. White bowl finished. Before purple bowl, I like to make that kind of yellow, cute things. I will tell you later why I need this. Just a little bit amount. Today, I like to use all from natural food color. So uh, this is chija. You remember gardenia? Gardenia fruits. When I make yellow pickled radish, I use this. This fruit is very traditional food color. Just like this, a little, little crush. And then, here. 
around the quarter cup water. Already color is yellow. So usually overnight you need to soak. And then color is almost orangish yellow. And then that's the point that you can use. So I did it last night. Look at this. This color is almost red, kind of reddish orange. Around seven, eight hours later, this guy color will be like this. So I'm going to use this for just a little bit. Around two tablespoons rice flour. Pinch of salt, gardenia water, around one teaspoon. I like to add some hot water, a little bit, half a teaspoon. There is no exactly some rule, because when you see, it should look like some Play-Doh. Gorgeous yellow color. Two tablespoons rice flour, how can you knead? This is the way they need. <laughs> the yellow bowl done. <laughs> oh, we made a white and yellow and purple one we need. So purple one is, I will use blueberries. So let's wash blueberries. My small pan, I'm going to heat it up because I'm going to just boil this and crush this. Um, here, I'm going to measure one and a half cup rice flour. And quarter teaspoon salt. Let's measure how much is it. Just a little more than one cup. I will use all. Put it here. So crush this. I don't add any sugar or any salt, just uh, as it is, these blueberries. Just crush this. When I make mashed potato, I use this. So it has to be really hot. I just strain this. Gorgeous, beautiful, purple. This is skins. So don't throw away, you can eat it. Add some water and boil, and then just make the kind of a nice tea. So quarter cup. This blueberry color is so pretty. In Korea, so people use just the Korean grapes. Grapes, the same method we use. And grapes, if you can find the Korean grapes, and then you can use, but in America, not easy to find the Korean grapes unless you go to Korean market. Plus, the Korean market should sell when I go there. And <laughs> that's the key point, isn't it? The reason I mix with hot water or hot, even hot blueberry liquid is that it has to be very soft and easy to mold. There. So pretty. Now we just have these three bowls and white, purple, yellow, and then we are going to make a nice songpyeon. But songpyeon, I told you, filled with some nuts and delicious stuff. I make three different kinds of filling. You see? Pretty color raspberry beans. It's a quarter cup. I will use this amount. I will use a honey, but you can add some rice syrup or just plain sugar. It's around two teaspoon amount. Next one, the pine nuts. I like to crush this around three tablespoons. When I crush the pine nuts, I usually, between this, my parchment paper, use my rolling pin. But today it's just a little small amount, so I just did this way, pound, pound, pound. <laughs> and also, I will add honey. 
just one tablespoon amount and mix and then next sesame seeds toasted sesame seeds three tablespoons and here I will add a pinch of salt and pound grind smells good toasted sesame seeds are so crunchy and really tasty honey around one tablespoon smells good This is my steamer. I put some water here and uh, this is already boiled. But I just turn off the heat. This is a steamer basket here. Just uh, when I'm ready, it has to be really boiled and then I will steam. So what we have to do is make a shape right now. Beautiful shape. Oh wow, look at that. Nice, eh? Around one ounce and always cover like this because it's dry out and you can't make a nice shape. So make this well. Yeah? So let's use beans. Four large beans, right? With also honey together. And seal this. And make this nice bowl. Like that. It look like we seal this area. So make a nice bowl. Sesame seeds. This amount, I'm going to leave this. Later, I'll make this flour with this. So, this here is like three different kinds of filling. I don't know which one has sesame seeds and this thing. When we make songpyeon with all family members, we just add in, you know, some beans and nuts, pine nuts. Later, when it's cooked, we don't know which one is. I hope I have a sesame seeds. And then they chew this, oh, this is beans. You know, mom says beans are good for your health, <laughs> good for you. When you eat this, also you have fun with family members. Next, purple color. Same way. There's still some leftover fillings. I will just make another batch later. And now just the 12. Six white one and six purple one. Still one bowl and white bowl left. So I'm going to make a really nice flower with this. Purple flower. And just tiny amount, and here, just like that. And then, now, we have to use this uh, yellow. Middle of flowers, I'll just make a little small bowl. Let's steam. I'm going to line this steamer 
a steamer basket with this wet cotton cloth. So now first, I want to turn off. Pine needles. So let's put this. This rice cake is not going to rise, so you can really make it crowd. And then, this is another cotton cloth. When the steam goes up, and then it may water dropping. So I like to uh, protect this. So I'm going to add this one more cotton cloth. And close. Let's steam. From now, 30 minutes over medium high heat, and then five minutes really simmer. minutes past. I'm going to lower heat very low and simmer for five minutes. So this is too hot to handle this. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. And then I will just transfer to my serving plate. Nice pine needles. Now this is hot. I will just add some sesame oil. Sesame oil. I will bring my tea. Rose tea. This is rose petal coated with sugar. And gorgeous songpyeon. So we call this a goat songpyeon. Goat means flowers. Time to taste. Remove pine needles. And I'll show you inside what it looks like. Wow, this is a sesame seeds. So pretty. Mm. Mm -hmm. The texture is very chewy, chewy, sweet, and nutty because sesame seeds. I hope that I can find something else and not sesame seeds. I'll just choose this purple one. Well, this is beans, raspberry beans. It's pretty, it looks like a fossil. <laughs> mm. I need tea. Wow, really tasty. You can't expect some kind of Western style cake. This rice cake is just not that sweet and savory. And very chewy and also filling after eating just a couple of rice cake. I can skip my lunch. <laughs> I'm so happy today because everything turned out so nicely, even though it took some time to make nice flowers. If you make for your family, you want to make a lot, you don't have to really make this so many, many flowers. Just a couple of flowers will make this really, really happy. But today, this is my video, so I try to make each songpyeon, I put my energy all this on this. My love. <laughs> and this is uh, a uh, blueberry. So when you chew this, you will feel blueberry. And also, you will taste a little bit of pine needle flavor. This is a Korean songpyeon. So Chuseok holiday, why don't you make this? Happy Chuseok! Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye!